We've got a couple of pots to put on here. Now what I've done, I've just ground the top off and got rid of all the moss. I've also done it on the side here. But anyway, yeah, I've ground all the top off and I've put a little scar mark on here. So there's going to be another pot here. You can see I've got one sat there. But what you've got is, you, they only just sit on. So these gaps here, what you need to do is put a piece of slate across. So what I'm going to do is get some slate, which we've got downstairs, bridge the gaps, wherever, and then it'll be mortar all the way around it again. And the mortar will go into these joints, what you can see here. I've ground them out there to get them pointed up. So you can see now, I've just bridged a piece of slate across each corner, make sure it's going to close any gaps off. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bed this on mortar. Same here, because this one, you notice here's a bit of a drop here. So I'm going to bed the slate up on a decent bed there. Same in this corner, get the pots nice and level. So now we've got the slate in place, we've put a bed of mortar around to sit the chimney pot on so that gives it something to bed onto once that's done then what we'll do we'll, well we'll do the second one before we haunch it up all the way around but yeah you've got to have something to stick to you can't just expect the haunching to hold it in place so i'm going to put that in place now and as if by magic it's bedded on so what we need to do is just clean the rags off what we've got in there we'll neaten them up because we don't want it falling down the flue can't if you see but this is secure well not securely on but it's bedded on same again so we'll put them around what i've done i took these under here so this is all going to bond together these two are independent but you know you get them in there you notice i've put a extra stick bed on there to bring this up to the same level so i'm going to do the same as i did with the other one just do the same as i did with the other one and uh, get it bedded on and and there's number two in place so all i've done remember is bedded it on this mortar yeah it's not tidy it's not horn up or anything like that but i don't want to build it all up too quickly anyway i'd rather it go off a bit before i start to put the top coat on but that's going to go off now and hold the pots in place good one. 